Hey guys, Shrog here. Uh, as you can see in front of you, I've got my printer, but this time it's not on the server, it's actually in a single player world. Uh, that means that it is exported as a schematic, which is good for you because you can download it in the link below. Uh, for the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your model to print. I'm not actually going to be showing you how to make your model. Uh, anyway, let's start. So start off, you're going to want to go into here, we've got a nice little twisting door. Anyway, uh, start off, you want to go to the first layer, uh, signified by that button there. You, uh, If you don't want to go into the room, you can just fly over here and look at the binary counter, and if all four rows along the top are off, that means that uh, it is ready to print from the first layer. Uh, if you don't, you can reset it by removing this piece of redstone here. Okay, so now you've got your model saved, it's set to start, and you're going to want to print it. So, again, you're going to want to start your clock. Uh, if you don't start the clock, uh, <laughs> I had a failed attempt at of making this video previously because I didn't start the clock and it made an, uh, a funny funny shape. It's just a so anyway, your clocks are started. This one here, you remove the torch and place it so it sends out a one tick pulse, and you come down here. Also, the default model that's saved in here is a creeper face, so. I'm going to print that now, and also glass is replaced with wool so you can burn it off, and iron blocks. So, it's just a change I guess. So anyway, here we go, printing. This is so much smoother than the, on the server as well, it's amazing. Also, don't think uh, repeating mode is on, because over here, uh, this torch, if you flick or flick this lever, it will make it so it prints in a loop and will constantly print your 3D model until it reaches the end bit, then it'll just stop. Uh, also, you can set it so you, it only prints a single layer at a time, and you can go to the next layer just by hitting the button, that button also starts it. So here we go, printing the next layer. Oh, I'll only print these two layers. Well, actually, I'm going to grab a flint and tinder so I can burn it off. So there's this chest here. Contains flint, uh, flint and steel, I mean, not flint and tinder. <laughs> Stupid me. Anyway, so now we can set it alight. And get rid of the insides. Uh, also, a note don't set a light to this. I did it earlier on and it, uh, <laughs> it didn't look very good. Well, well, kind of was impressive. But, yeah. And I'm glad pistons don't burn. Otherwise. <laughs> Uh, it'd be irritating. So now we've cleared out the insides, except for this eye. And yeah, so you'd only want to burn it away once your whole bottle is finished printing, otherwise this hair will happen, and you'll see. It only pushes what can be pushed, so the middle layer will look weird. Or it'll just look weird, and it won't go. Anyway, I broke the printing process, and you can now break it too if you really want to, or you can make something sensible. Um, and it would be cool if you left video responses of models that you have printed. I'd just like to see what other people can make. So, thanks for watching. 
uh, happy birthday.